the web summit mm. is imploding before our eyes. What's going on? Yeah, it, this is a, a, an interesting one and it's been sort of unfolding bit by bit over the weekend. You may have heard um, Paddy Cosgrave, who is one of the founders of Web Summit and was the CEO, stood down over comments he made on Twitter in relation to Israel and Gaza. We and should point out he apologised for them afterwards. He did apologise, um, uh, but it, it also came after some pretty big and significant players backed out of not only participation at the Web Summit, so the likes of Gillian Anderson and Amy Poehler backed out of speaking. He also doubled down on those comments slightly, didn't he, before he apologised, before the, the exodus occurred. So, so he didn't look like he was particularly repentant initially. And initially, yes. So so again, just to explain it, that he made his comments on Twitter. He's been making comments and controversial comments on Twitter for a significant period of time. Uh, but what happened over the last number of days is, as I said, some very high profile speakers backed out and then very big, important, influential tech partners walked Meta, away. Stripe, Amazon, Google, Siemens, oh. Intel. And the the thing to note here is that it's not just that they were putting speakers forward, it's that they have, like I've been to the Web Summit a huge number of times over the years and there are entire halls the size of the RDS that have displays that are sponsored by the likes of Amazon's AWS. Okay. So this is, it's not just about Speakers presence. Speakers or attendees, it's about money. It's a, It all comes down to the bottom line. Uh, and so he has stepped away. Organisers are saying, as of this morning anyway, that the event is still going ahead. If you go to the Web Summit website, you can see the list of speakers that are still uh, intending to go. But I don't think this controversy has gone away just yet. And I think one of the key issues is that for so many years, dating way back to when Web Summit was here in Dublin, Paddy Cosgrave is synonymous with Web Summit. Yes, and, and he's not the CEO anymore, but he's still 81% owner of, of the company. So yeah. so he's not exactly gone. So so do we is is stepping down as CEO from that role going to be enough, do you think? I don't know is the honest answer. we have to bear in mind there, there are hundreds of people who work. Like there are the, around 300 bigger people. Than, bigger than an event and bigger than Paddy Cosgrave there are hundreds of people who, who rely on this for their, their job Yeah, now look uh, what Paddy Cosgrave reportedly told staff on Friday is that they have enough cash in the bank It's not they're not going to close the doors in the morning but I do think it's a case of trying to repair the reputation of Web Summit if that is possible but you know every year that I've been at Web Summit in Lisbon Paddy Cosgrave MCs the main stage he goes on on opening night for the first few minutes and offers a State of the Union style address offering up his thoughts and feelings on different issues. So Web Summit, although it has been an incredible network for SMEs, for startups, for the tech community as a whole, a huge part of it has been around Paddy okay. Cosgrave, his thoughts and feelings. So it's still a little bit up in the air as well. I, I'm for sensing now. it. Yeah. Look, thank you for that and that update, Jess.